In this specific video, you're going to learn how to increase user interaction with a notification bar. Now, what is a notification bar? Well, it's a horizontal bar that sits at the very top of your site. Now, when the user comes to your site, they're going to see this horizontal bar and it's not going to be intrusive to their eyes. And what this allows you to do is announce offers, communicate with the user without being annoying. So in order to install this notification bar, you will want to start at the WordPress dashboard. We're going to go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And we're going to do a search for WordPress notification bar. And as you can see, it's at the very top. It says WordPress notification bar version 1.0.0. And this is the one we want. Go ahead and click on install now and install the plugin and activate it. Once that is activated, go under settings and click on notification bar. Now, as you can see, it's very, very simple to configure the settings. The first thing you'll want to do is enable it. So check the yes box. And then the next thing is to enter a message. Now, the notification bar can be used for just about anything. Let's say, for example, that you are selling a product and you want to announce to all the people that come to your site that within the next 72 hours they get 50 percent off all of your merchandise so let's say for example that we're going to use this example so under message we're going to put 72 hours dash 50 percent off all merchandise so that's the message that they're going to see as you can see up here the next item is the button label so in this case, for the notification bar, you have a message to the left and a button to the right. So you're going to need to change the wording of your button. Next item is the button link. So if somebody clicks on your button, where do you want them to go? In this example, I did 72 hours, 50% off. So I put the button label as get your 50% off and the button link actually goes to a post that sits on this same WordPress site. So when they click on this link, they go to a specific WordPress post that I created. You can also change the position. So if you check this checkbox that says sticky comma stays at the very top of the page even when you scroll down. If I were to check this, then what's going to happen is the bar up here is going to stay there at all times. So even if the person scrolls down, they're going to see the sign. If you uncheck this, then the first thing they're going to see is the notification bar at the very top. However, when they begin to scroll down, they're not going to see that horizontal notification bar anymore. In this case, I'm going to check the box. And the last thing that you can do is change the background color. So if you click on the select color button, you can select a color and go with that. In this case, I'm going to leave it as red and click on save changes. Now that the settings have been saved, I can actually go to the live site and view this notification bar. As you can see currently, the red notification bar is at the very top. And when I scroll down, you'll notice that I continue to see the notification bar. And when I click on this link, it brings me to the post that I created that talks about the 50% off all merchandise.
Now, if I go back to the settings and uncheck the box that says it's going to stay at the very top at all times and click on save changes and refresh the live site, as you can see here, the notification bar is at the very top. However, when I scroll down, it disappears. So that's a cool option that you can play around with and test it out, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then move on from there. And that's how to install a WordPress notification bar.